Hey, welcome everyone. My name is Trevor Holly. I'm head of Villa Management with Bali Texture Property. And we've got another great villa tour for you today. This is Villa Antara. And it sits in the middle of Umalas, Bali. So today we're gonna go around and check out the unique features, layout and design of this villa. And maybe even, maybe even test the pool today. We'll see what happens. But before we get started, make sure and like and subscribe for fresh videos weekly. So let's go ahead and have a look. All right, so we're at the front gate of Villa Antara. This villa is three bedrooms, five bathroom. It sits on a rice paddy, so it's got a great view. Let's go ahead and take a look inside. And watch your step. We do have a koi pond entranceway. All right, so as we walk in, uh, the first thing I notice about this villa is the open living space. Uh, really nice, it's cozy, the light's great. Uh, we've got living area, and then the dining room and the kitchen all flow together uh, with lots of different design and textures of the, uh, we've got Bali wood everywhere. Um, really, really cool. Uh, we've got a lot of space in the kitchen, so plenty of room to move around and have a couple people running back and forth, preparing the food. Uh, nice island, so we've got you know, really good preparation space for a good meal. Um, and uh, with this table, I uh, love this. You see these in Bali, this just thick, massive table. I really like it. So um, it fits six people and a great place to sit and dine. All right, so I want to show you one of the features that really stood out to me as soon as I walked in is this bathroom door. It's so cool. It's got all the wood blocks uh, staggered, so it gives a lot of texture to the room. Uh, really cool feature. And if we go in, we can see it's a, it's actually a fully functional bathroom. It's kind of quirky where it's, it's narrow, but it's nice and modern. So it still feels like you have a, a lot of space in here, but it actually does have a fully functioning shower, which I thought was kind of unique, uh, having it next to the kitchen like that. But um, over here, awesome Bali sculptures and designs. I love the use of these, uh, these the tree roots as a side table, it's really cool. All right, so I'm coming into the living room area here. I have to do a couch test. Always do, gotta do a couch test because sometimes they can look great, uh, but aren't always that comfortable. And, and this one's good. It's got a good lounge factor to it, so. So let's go ahead and see the master bedroom because that's uh, one of the first bedrooms that's located on the ground floor here, so. which has a great view of the pool. Nice high ceilings. Uh, we've got a big dressing area, so a huge uh, full wall size mirror with uh, room for your clothes behind it, but a place that you can get ready. All right, so we're gonna head on into the bathroom here, uh, the master bathroom. And as I walk in, uh, I notice something right away, which is there's two showers and a tub, uh, which is kind of interesting, right? Um, it's, a, it's a really nice feel though. There's a lot of natural light coming in. We've got an atrium area with uh, trees outside and, uh, and the finishings are, are really nice. So it's, there's a lot of wood, you know, we've got wood uh, toothbrush holders and soap holders. And so it's got that nice modern yet natural feel to it. Uh, this is kind of cool too. I noticed that they've got a bunch of rocks piled up uh, around the tub. So it, it kind of makes you feel like you're outside even though you're inside. Uh, but I'm curious your thoughts. The double shower, I don't know. I, guess, I think some people would love that. Uh, I think it's, I don't know, maybe that's over the top. It makes me want to shower in both at the same time and I can't make a decision. So I'd probably end up taking a bath instead. So comment below if you like the double shower or, uh, or if you think you wouldn't know what to do either and would just go swimming instead. All right, so we're gonna go take a look at the other bedrooms. Now, this villa is actually three levels, so we're gonna head on upstairs and uh, see what the view looks like from the other bedrooms upstairs. All right, so we walk through the dining area to the stairwell. 
I really like how they have the white stone. We've got this kind of hexagon stone that's all put together and it's a really cool feature. So uh, I also really like the glass railway here as well. Again, we've got that, the, the mix of the nature, you know, the natural feel with the wood uh, mixed with the glass is, is nice. All right, so as I come up the stairs here, there's a lot going on. Uh, we actually are outside on a balcony that overlooks the rice paddy, the pool, and then has this insane view uh, of the rest of Bali, you know, sitting in front of me. Um, so that's really cool because I didn't quite expect to have that experience. So immediately I'm outside, uh, but I'm still protected by the roof. Uh, so it's just, it's a really nice layout. We've got uh, another bedroom sitting here that's got a huge glass window and door. So uh, a great view, I'm sure. And let's go ahead and jump in and, and check it out here. All right, so this is the first of the two guest bedrooms and uh, it's got just a great view. You know, I, I mentioned the full glass uh, door and window here, um, but I really like the, the feel of this bedroom. It's a little bit different. So it's still modern, uh, the, the way that the bed frame is and uh, the back of the bed is modern, but we've got a lot of traditional Bali uh, decorations and sculptures in here too. So we've got uh, the wood hangings on the walls, um, sculpture, and even this desk you know, has the, the hand carved uh, designs in the, in the middle. And so as we walk around to the bathroom here, uh, there's a lot of really nice stonework in here. So it's, it feels modern. It's still got that kind of mix of nature plus modern feel as well. Um, with a window that still looks through the stairwell uh, across and overlooks the island. So pretty cool. All right, so let's go ahead and head over to the second guest bedroom, which is right next to the first guest bedroom. All right, so this is the second, uh, second guest bedroom here. It's identical as the first. Uh, again, an amazing view, uh, really, really nice. Lots of light. It also has this a uh, huge window over here that overlooks the rice paddy. So um, this is the bedroom that I would call if, if I were staying here because that's, that's definitely a really great view. All right, so as I come out of this bedroom, we can walk over around the corner here to, all I can call this is the lounge tower. It's a really cool feature um, and it is, a little, it's a lounge area. Now there's actually another level above us. So this villa is three levels. And as we finish off the second level here, we've got a lounge area with some, uh, some beanbag chairs. We overlook the rice paddy. We see kites, we see villas. Uh, this is a stunning view. Um, it's, it's really, really nice. Um, let's go ahead and head upstairs and you'll see the rest of, uh, of this place. That's the ultimate hangout place for this villa. All right, so um, as I head up to the third level here, the view just gets better. And we've got a, got a four, uh, four stool bar area here to sit, uh, enjoy a drink and, and check out the view. And it, it actually does get better up here. The, the view uh, is just uh, it's really amazing. So we've got a really nice breeze today coming through. So this is, uh, this is what Bali is all about, is hanging out, enjoying the flow of nature and, uh, and just relaxing. So. All right, well, I think I've gotten my fill of this view and I still see the pool below. So let's go ahead and uh, see what, what that has in store for us. Actually, before we head out to the pool, I wanna show one more feature that's really nice about this villa is that we've got a laundry set up and that's really convenient. Sometimes we don't have washing machines in the villas and uh, this is really nice so that you don't have to use the laundromat. So, uh, and then we also have a storage area back here. Um, lots of room actually. Really good shelf setup for uh, linens and supplies, all that stuff. So let's make our way out to the pool here.
All right, as we come out through the dining area, uh, we have the pool and deck and patio area, as well as garden. Uh, there's a lot of really great plants uh, around here. We've got the, uh, the hanging vines uh, and a couple of the bigger trees over next to the gazebo. So a uh, really great place to lounge. Um, you can look up to the, the bedrooms here. All right, I want to show you uh, a unique feature here as we walk around, walk along this little pathway. Um, over to the side, we actually have an outdoor shower area, but it's, it's cool how it's set up. It's like a uh, corridor with plants. This is in the atrium that the master bedroom uh, has a view of through the master bathroom. There's this, this outdoor shower uh, where after swimming and you want to rinse off, uh, you've got a great area with open sky. Uh, really, uh, it's cool. So a couple other notes about this pool. It's the infinity style, so the water's rolling over the edges. I always love that. Um, this pool, though, is also pretty deep, and you don't always get that in villa pools. Sometimes it's just a plunge pool that's a little smaller. So, you know, I'll tell you what, there's only one way to really know how good a pool is. We've done the couch test. I think we got to do a pool test. All right, guys, well, the pool works. Um, if you thought the splash was super weak, make sure and let me know in the comments below. Uh, but that does it for our tour today. If you enjoyed the video, make sure and like and subscribe. And if you're looking for more information on Villa design, management, or development, we've left a link below where you can contact us for some more information. I'm Trevor Holly, and that does it. We hope to see you next time on another Bali Texture Property Tour.